finally tonight, there's been a perfect ending to the mysterious case of Martin's missing Moggy. Rodney the cat was adopted by the North Island Town's ITM store as a kitten 10 years ago and became a hit with customers. Last month, Rodney disappeared, and after a concerned customer started digging around, it was revealed a store manager had dumped the feline in the countryside. The Martin store owner, Rob James, appeared here on Checkpoint in June and apologised. He said the cat had become a bit of a nuisance and had been dumped by a staff member who had since been stood down. Now, that was when things got a bit feral. People began pulling their business from the ITM store and Rob told us some staff had received death threats from angry customers who were worried about Rodney. Well, this evening, we have some good news. The Martin Moggy's Facebook page has tonight revealed Rodney had been found on a local farm earlier this week. Our reporter, Nick Truebridge, spoke to Martin Moggy's Rebecca Stevenson a short time ago. So Rodney was found about 13 k, give or take, um, from where he was originally dumped. So he kind of headed in the opposite direction to town. Um, And some people sort of um, saw the newspaper, and he was obviously on the front page of most newspapers, and they read that and they thought, heck, that looks a lot like a cat that suddenly appeared at our house. And they sent a photo through to um, ITM, and then ITM sent the photo to us and called us and said, hey, we think we've got Rodney. And sure enough, it was him. So we... um, we, as soon as we heard that, we went down, um, we set some traps with um, the family that were down there and then they gave us a call about three hours later and said he's in one of the traps and we were able to go down, grab him and go from there. Can you just tell us exactly how long he's been, I suppose, sort of out on his own? It's about a month. I believe it was um, Thursday the 18th of June, but that could be um, incorrect. It's, yeah, rough, roughly a month, yeah. Rebecca, obviously Rodney has been out on his own for some time. What was your reaction when you um, heard that it sounded like he had been found? Well, we were, you know, beyond excited. We were still um, very, you know, cautious to make sure that we did everything um, correctly and to make sure that it was, in fact, him, you know. So as soon as we got the call, um, we went out straight away, we set traps, and, um, yeah, and then once we had him kind of in our trap and back here and we were able to look at him. It was kind of a bit of disbelief, you know, like, oh, my gosh, is it actually him? Like, we were so, so excited. And then we had someone come over to confirm it was Rodney the following day. And then from there we were like, oh, my gosh, you know, just so happy, like a month of blood, sweat and tears put into trying to get him home. And we finally, you know, had done it. So we were so, so happy. Were you preparing for the worst? Yeah, for sure. We, um... We were, you know, like obviously you never want to give up hope or anything. And we hadn't. We were still doing, you know, we were still responding if people um, thought that they'd seen a sighting. We were still, we had spaces set up for him. Um, we were still searching, going to um, the dump site, checking things out. But, of course, you know, a month goes on. He's an older cat. It was, you know, the odds were not exactly on his side. But the fact that he's here alive and well is so awesome. Like, we're so, so happy. What sort of shape was he in? Um, he, was in, he was in good shape. He, um, we, we obviously got him checked over by the vet. He's had all his blood tests and stuff like that taken. So, um, But, yeah, when we got him, he was in really good condition. Um, he's obviously hungry and thirsty, but he's been enjoying having unlimited food and water since then. How many, I suppose, at the height of this uh, search for Rodney, how many people in Martin would have been out there or Martin and surrounding areas? Oh, a lot. I'm not, I couldn't give you an exact number, but the support from the community has been amazing. You know, we could not be more thankful for the support that we've received, whether it's been through, um, you know, just like nice comments, um, support, whether it's been people going out and looking, whether it's been food donations, um, whether it's been donations that are, like the loaning of traps and all that kind of thing. It's just, we're, we're so grateful for all the support. What now for Rodney? So for now, he'll take a couple of weeks um, here, minimum a couple of weeks, just to settle down. Um, You know, we can keep an eye on him, make sure he's tracking along nicely. He's had a pretty rough month, so the last thing we want to do is upset him more and, you know, find him a home right now. So we'll just keep him here, um, monitoring him, you know, just building up his... um, his confidence and all that kind of thing again. And then in a couple of months' time, we'll... um, Sorry, in a couple of weeks' time, we'll start our... um, process of finding him a forever home and finding the perfect family to look after him and for him to live in. That was Rebecca Stevenson from Martin Moggy's speaking to our reporter Nick Truebridge.